Good morning, everyone. How wonderful to see so many friends and colleagues out to celebrate uh, an exciting announcement for Salt Lake City today. Um, so good morning, I'm Lara Fritz. I'm the Director of Economic Development for Salt Lake City. Today, Salt Lake City joins over 1,600 Main Street communities across the United States. The Main Street program was founded in the 1980s and has become the preeminent methodology for commercial revitalization. In the early 1990s, I started my economic development career as a Main Street program manager, so I know firsthand the value that Main Street can bring to commercial revitalization. And more importantly, it really has been the methodology I've used throughout my career for economic development. And its proven four-point approach focuses on four key areas. The first is having an organization that leads the economic revitalization of our communities and our commercial districts. The next is economic restructuring, making sure that we have a business mix that's viable and vibrant. But then assuring that we have aesthetic design and a great example of how we can make improvements to existing buildings sits behind us with Fisher Brewing. Last but not least, we can have great businesses, we can have beautiful spaces and places, but unless we tell people our story, it doesn't matter. And so marketing these commercial districts as a special place to visit and grow is very important to the effort of Main Street. When I arrived in Salt Lake City eight months ago, I had the pleasure of going out with each of the council members to their districts, and I found that there were a number of commercial districts that were very successful. Yet, there were some that could use some additional attention. And so I called upon my friend, Matt Wagner, and said, Matt, I know Main Street's a proven approach. I know it will work here in Salt Lake City. What do you think? And Matt, who never tells me no, which he's too kind, <laughs> said, you know, Laura, it's really interesting. This would be the first certified program or nationally recognized Main Street program in Utah if we were able to designate Salt Lake City. In January, Matthew came out, we drove around the city, and he said to me, Laura, I know that you've kind of focused on one commercial district, I wanna do two. And since I can't tell Matthew now, we've agreed <laughs> to do two. And so the two that we're announcing today are the Granary District, which is where we are today. The second is on State Street. And we're gonna be defining the boundaries of what that will look like, but we're very excited to have two project areas in our community. Momentarily, you'll hear from Mayor Biskupski as to why the Main Street program is just one piece of what is a lining of resources for economic development in our city. But I, before we get to the mayor, I'd like to thank Peter Mikowski from the Department of Economic Development. He's our manager of recruitment and retention, and he has really led the effort on making this project and today happen. So thank you, Peter, for all your efforts. I'd also like to um, thank the local businesses that are here today, um, specifically Fisher Brewing. Say hi, yeah. Fisher Brewing. They'll be here talking to you in just a moment. Ruby Snap for all the fabulous cookies, and they're right around the corner in case you want to grab more on your way. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, Atmosphere Studios. Atmosphere, hi, thank you for being here. And with that, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Matt Wagner. He's the Vice President of Revitalization Programs for the National Main Street Center, and my dear friend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to be in Salt Lake City. I was telling the, the mayor that I flew out of Chicago this morning. It was like 20 degrees, and I get to come to 70 degree weather. You can't beat that. And sec secondly, I knew we would be coming back to Salt Lake City when I went home after the first trip. And now at, for every successive trip that I've been on out in the country, I've been carrying around my Salt Lake official Salt Lake City book <laughs> and taking all my notes. So uh, it was bound to happen, I think, bound right? So this day really marks, I think, an ex exciting evolution um, in the progress of Main Street over this past 36 years. Um, while Main Street has been heralded, as, as mentioned, as one of the top economic development strategies um, in the U.S., and just a few facts and figures here, we've had $65 billion in new reinvestment across the country, uh, half a million net new uh, jobs, and a quarter of a million net new businesses with a growing network of over 1,600 communities in about 45 states across the country. But we continue to seek further enrichment and enhancement to our particular methodology and approach to revitalization. And we think that Salt Lake City really gives us this opportunity to do some exciting things. So today marks a series of firsts uh, that we'd like to announce. Um, 
First is just the national designation uh, from the National Main Street Center. We're based, based in Chicago, a subsidiary of the National Trust for Historic Preservation. And we're designating as an accredited program, Salt Lake City. So we're really excited um, about that opportunity um, and what that will mean for the two districts um, here within, within the Greenwood District and segments of State Street. In addition, Salt Lake City will be leading really a, a new effort um, for us uh, through uh, a unique organizational vehicle of this public-private partnership really coming together of businesses here within the district, but also, frankly, a great deal of leadership from the city's economic development uh, department that really will be spearheading, spearheading this, um, this direction and this effort, and that's quite unique within other Main Street programs across the, uh, the U.S. And so I salute the efforts of the mayor um, and the city's economic development department for really spearheading this and taking the charge and bringing Main Street to Salt Lake City. And finally, Salt Lake City is a part of their designation. We've invited them to join a, a really a small subset of other neighborhood commercial district leaders from across the U.S. in Seattle in a couple weeks to launch a brand new urban network of commercial districts throughout the U.S. And we really see Salt Lake City uh, providing leadership role there um, and lots of learning uh, as we go along and revitalization here in Salt Lake City. So when we were out here the last time, or I was out here the last time and evaluating and assessing the other districts that were here, a couple, I just want to point out sort of a couple things that really struck us, you know, by having sort of that national perspective and things that we were seeing um, out there. Specific, specifically in the, in the granary, we saw a district um, with just really this, this great urban grittiness, uh, this vibe um, that's embodied in eclectic places like you see right here with Fisher uh, Brewery. Um, and it's kind of like that combined sense of local ownership, um, great urban design, great building stock uh, with sort of warehouse, old, old time industrial uh, locations that provide what consumers are looking for in more experiential based um, shopping opportunities, whether that's in re retail or small scale production um, or even in living opportunities. And we think there's just a great opportunity here within this particular district uh, to really build off of, of that and make it a dynamic, even more dynamic place. In terms of State Street, it features really a lot of this, the traditional uh, building fabric that you would see in, in commercial districts across the U.S. Um, with great building stock, but also some challenges, challenges with, with traffic and pedestrian scale. And we look forward to working with the city uh, and with the businesses along um, segments of State Street um, to really sort of transform that area into a more of a walkable um, community with dynamic ethnic uh, businesses and uh, really solidify that revitalization um, uh, effort there. So in closing, um, we're extremely confident um, in the ability of, of the city, the neighborhoods themselves to coalesce around the Main Street um, effort. Um, we're excited about the successes uh, that we know we're going to see um, here, and specifically really the flourishing of locally grown and enhanced entrepreneurs, new job creation, and really social equity of having local entrepreneurs really participate in the revitalization successes of their own communities. So on behalf of the National Main Street Center, congratulations on your national designation of accredited Main Street uh, program. And thank you once again for, to the mayor and for all of her support and for the leadership of the city's economic development uh, department for its leadership as well in making all this happen. Thank you. I think we have a Oh, we've got something formal going on here. That's right. So on behalf, this is here. just the start. Jump over here. This is just the start uh, as a plaque identifying Salt Lake City as an accredited Main Street program. But like I said, it's only the start. The real work gets kicked off. <laughs> and that's really what we're excited about is seeing all the changes on the street. So, Mayor, thank you once again. Thank and you. we're so happy that you're part of the National Main Street Center. <laughs> well. And not probably not as happy as we are, so thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, it is such an honor to be the first city in Utah 
to be designated uh, as one of the Main Street America pro, um, winners. And what I would like to say, uh, first and foremost, is this is truly recognition of the work the city, particularly the members of the RDA partnering with organizations in the community to do the revitalization that we envision and to make areas like this vibrant in our city again. It's not hard to see why Main Street America selected the Granary District. The Granary District is one of our most important RDA projects in large part because of the strong focus on creating a vibrant and sustainable neighborhood for people who truly love this city. The Granary is quickly turning into the city's creative district with a growing food scene, art studios, and small businesses of every kind. In a few weeks since Fisher Brewery has opened, it has become an incredible hot spot in our city. And with our renewed efforts on State Street, I am confident it will evolve into a grand boulevard and transformed in a very similar fashion. The RDA and the economic development teams recognize that neighborhood districts are a big part of the business landscape in our city. We are working every day to preserve the local history, celebrate community character, and generate economic returns in these areas. Main Street America gives us tools that will really help us double down on our efforts in these neighborhoods. Being part of the Main Street America program helps us to ensure the character of this area remains local, homegrown, and something the residents can be proud of as we continue to do the work of revitalizing the buildings in this area. Thank you again to Main Street America for this honor and to the staff of the RDA and Peter, especially as we do this work together and bring, these, and bring this designation home. It is all about partnerships, partnerships at every level, at every turn. We can do anything when we partner and I'm so proud of my teams and the partnering that is, is being pursued by you. My only disappointment is that we are not standing here at 5 p.m. <laughs> but I will live with that, and I will talk to my staff later. I'm happy to introduce Tim Dwyer from Fisher Brewing to come and talk to us for a minute about this endeavor and how he envisions this area in the future. Thank you guys, and um, we're really excited about what this designation might mean for our, uh, our neighborhood here. Uh, Fisher Brewing Company sought out the Granary District for exactly what it is today, and that's a, a manufacturing center. Um, we've got a steel shop that's right down the road. You've heard trucks come rumbling by to del make deliveries too. We've got auto shops as neighbors, and uh, that's part of our neighborhood too, um, in maintaining uh, that mix is really important to us, and I think the Main Street Americas recognizes that the reason why the Granary District is special and the reason why we picked it is because of its grittiness, because of the other businesses that are here, and uh, you know we're really proud to carry on a tradition of manufacturing in the Granary District, and we've installed a, a silo here which is full of grain in the Granary District for the first time and, and who knows how long. Um, and that's that's really exciting for us, and you know we're we're proud to carry on the tradition of this of this neighborhood and and to be part of of a growth here, um, but also a celebration of who the community is today, and that is hardworking middle class folks, local business owners, manufacturers, artists, um, businesses like uh, our neighbors here at Ruby Snap, the Chocolate Conspiracy uh, right around the corner here, and all the way down to. The specialty steel guys here next door, atmosphere through the block. Um, we've got a lot of really great things going on here, and, and we're happy to be part of the, uh, the celebration of a really great neighborhood. So, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. And one other quick thing, uh, the mayor spoke to partnerships and I really want to sort of acknowledge some people that are here. I saw Steve walk down the street, but Steve is with our business advisory board um, who have been great supporters of the economic development department as well as the Main Street effort. And also Chris and Lavalette from Local First Utah. Thank you so much for all your support of Main Street. Um, in fact, Kristen went to the National Main Street Conference last year, held up the Utah sign. She was the only person there. Um, so has been a champion of Main Street and it's going to be a great partner in helping us revitalize this, these two wonderful commercial districts. With that, that ends our formal program. However, um, people will be available for having conversations if you'd like. And then in addition, um, I think we can peek into the windows of Fisher Brewing Company so you can see the revitalization of one of our buildings here in the Granary District. Thank you again for coming out this morning.